In the old days, people had to pay cash for a merchandise to be able to walk away with it. With financial options beginning to rise, especially in the West, people can choose to sign a payment agreement where in most cases they have to pay a down payment upfront, then commit to paying their debt in monthly or weekly payments for a specific period of time. Because customers have the luxury of walking away or using items before finishing paying for them, monthly or weekly payments include an extra charge called interest. In this video, we will use one of the Federal Reserve's older formulas to calculate the actual yearly interest rate. R is the unknown, which is the actual yearly interest rate. On the numerator goes 2 times M times I. M basically reflects the frequency of payments. If payments are made monthly, then M equals 12 because there are 12 months in a year. If payments are weekly, then M equals 52 since a year has 52 weeks. I is the interest in dollars paid on top of the owed price of the purchase. In that sense, I equals the total payments to be made over the course of the agreement minus the remaining borrowed price of the purchase. On the denominator goes P times N plus 1. P here represents the amount of borrowed money after paying the down payment. N is the actual number of planned out payments. Note that 2 and 1 are part of the formula and do not change. The variables M, I, P, and N do change depending on the situation in hand. Let's take a look at the first problem. First, read the question. Calculate the actual yearly interest rate of purchasing a bedroom furniture that's priced at $1,985 with $400 down and $74 per month for 24 months. Now let's assign values to M and N. M equals 12 since payments are monthly. N equals 24. That's the course of the agreement. Now P is the borrowed money after paying the down payment. So P equals 1985, which is the full price of the bedroom set, minus 400, which is the down payment. The borrowed amount is $1,585. That's P. For I, the total payments is needed. Calculate the total by multiplying the amount of each payment, which is $74, times N, which is 24. The buyer will pay a total of $1,776 by the end of the 24th month, which is obviously more than P, the borrowed money. The difference between the total payments and P is I. Therefore, I is 1776 minus 1585. I equals $191. Now that we have a value for each variable, it's time to plug the values in place of each variable in the formula. On top, we have 2 times 12 times 191. On the denominator goes 1,585 times 25. Remember, the formula calls for multiplying P times N plus 1. We must add N plus 1 first, which is 25, then multiply that times 1,585. Let's go back to the numerator. Multiply the three numbers, it's 4,584. On the bottom, 1,585 times 25 is 39,625. Finally, divide top and bottom numbers. 
It's 0.1157, which is the yearly interest rate the buyer is charged if agreed to this payment plan. Because interest rates are always written in percent form, the last step calls for multiplying the decimal answer 0.1157 times 100 to bring in the percent sign. The interest rate R is 11.57%. Let's look at a different example. Calculate the actual yearly interest rate of purchasing a jacket for $75 with $25 down and $4.75 per week for 11 weeks. Here M equals 52 since payments are weekly and N equals 11. The borrowed amount P is $75 minus the down payment $25. So P equals $50. For I, let's first calculate the total payments. Multiply the amount of each weekly payment, $4.75 times N, which is 11. The total payments are $52.25. Subtract the total payment minus P to find I, the amount of interest. I equals 52.25 minus 50. I is $2.25. Now plug in the values in the formula. On top, 2 times 52 times 2.25. Down in the denominator, 50 times 12. Again, 11 and 1 are added first before multiplying the sum times 50. Go back to the top, multiply, it's 234. Do the same for the bottom, it's 600. Divide 234 by 600, it's 0 0.39. The last step is to multiply the decimal rate times 100. The interest rate is 39%. This answer looks ambiguous. In real life, most people are not willing to pay a whooping 39% just to own a $75 jacket. It's very possible that this formula was designed to calculate the annual interest rate on large purchases like houses and cars. For the purpose of this lesson, use this formula as shown. Just know that some rates won't look realistic, especially for small purchases like clothes.